I don't mean to complain, but I literally just got done filming an entire video, a long video about the summit stream. I press stop recording. What happens? Oh, there's a game update. Usually I would try and combine these two news videos into one, but frankly, I don't even know if this update is worth being a news video. So friends, you and I are gonna find out together. I'm updating my game right now and we shall see. I don't really anticipate anything big because they already told us the baby update is coming out in March. So like this one can't be anything huge, but if there are bug fixes or something, then you know, we'll talk about it. And while this is downloading, if you missed it yesterday, The Sims did a huge live stream teasing a bunch of stuff like the sims 5 the baby update the new expansion pack a few things for sims mobile and sims free play so if you're curious to hear about all of that and what they talked about i'll link the video i made on that down below for now the update is finalizing also i still have not switched to the ea app i'm not gonna lie i'm scared too i probably should maybe i'll do it today you know what maybe if this update is a flop we can do it together i'm opening my game now i really don't have high expectations i feel like we just got like a small bug fix update they mentioned that they're going to be giving us light switches in the base game. But they mentioned that on Twitter when we got the light switches added in the new kit. So I've kind of been like waiting for us to get them in the base game. Patch notes aren't out yet, so we gotta do something to kill time. Mm. Oh, wait! Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna say, mm, no, just these. But look! Unswitchable switch! Unswitchable switch! They did add the light switch! I recall the first time I tried to switch the unswitchable switch. Three hours in a pitch black room, the screaming just kept getting louder and louder, and it wasn't until dawn when the light seeped in through the window that I was finally finally able to stop myself. That's a like unpleasant description. That is so funny. I was like, oh, there isn't one. Wait, <laughs> why is it more expensive? Why are these 20 and that one's 40? That's actually so rude. I'm like genuinely offended by this. Although I will say it is very funny for them to just make fun of themselves with this, like calling it the unswitchable switch because it's not functional. It's just decorative. You can't do anything with this. <laughs> you can just look at it. I'm kind of surprised by the lack of swatches. Obviously these two are the old ones over there. This is the only base game one, but I don't understand why they just come in white and beige. Like, why isn't there a more modern one? Like a a black one? Like why? Why? <laughs> this is really weird to me, but I don't know. I've wanted little details like this for so long. I'd like to have like an outlet cover and stuff like that too. Do you think we got one? Outlet. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I also just saw someone on Twitter say there's new cast category, so we have to go check that out too. Okay, so the new category is this one, medical wearables. And we have quite a few options in quite a few placements and swatches, it looks like. I'm gonna get my face out of the way for a second so I can show you a little bit better but these are glucose monitors and we obviously have a lot of different variations of them in different placements and different colors. They all have pretty much the same swatches, but obviously they look a little bit different and are placed a little bit differently. And this one has a few hearing aids. All of these things come in a lot of different swatches. I cannot express to you all how excited I am about this. I did not see this coming. I didn't know they were doing this. They never talked about doing this. These three variants are just different placements. They're all the same. This has been so hugely requested for so so long. Like so many people have been really wanting more representation for disabilities in The Sims. And obviously this is a very, very small start, but it's really cool to see them doing it. I know for some of you, these things might seem like really small details, but these small details make a world of a difference to people. A lot of us are really lucky in that we can super easily recreate ourselves in The Sims, but a lot of people don't have that luxury. And the whole point of this game is to stimulate life. And a lot of people in real life use hearing aids. In fact, a lot of people in real life use a lot of other assistive devices. And I really hope that this is a sign that they're gonna work on adding more things like that into the game. I know I said it already, but this is just a start and a small start, but I did not expect them to do this today. So I've got really high hopes for future additions to the game. This is actually a binder, which I didn't even realize at first. And here's kind of a better up close look at all of the different swatches. We have mostly plain solid color swatches with the exception of a couple funky patterns and stuff. There's something about the texture of this that seems kind of off to me. I don't really know how else to put it, but I think you can see what I'm talking about. Even some of the plain swatches look a little like weird to me, but it is really quite something. I am so, so glad they added this in, but I'm a little less glad that it seems like they did such a 
poor job in making at least a few of the swatches. And then we also got these that are new, and these have quite a few swatches. I, I think I like these. The texture on these looks a little bit better than the texture on the top, which is nice. The top is just unmatched. I'm sorry, but that is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like I, I could make a better top than this, and that's not a good sign. <laughs> I can't believe they made that. They have really made some interesting choices with the clothing options they have given us recently. We got this one recently. Um, it like actually looks bad. By the way, it has now been like half an hour and there is still no official patch notes. So I'm still just kind of scrolling around looking for things. Oh my God, there's top surgery scars. This update is huge. We were really, really hoping for this after the new body scars category was added. They made the category for werewolves. Obviously the top surgery scars are now base game. That's new today. Finally, the patch notes are out. Okay, so we can actually see what came in the update now. I've just been like digging around, finding stuff myself. That's why this video might seem kind of all over the place. So obviously they added the new medical wearables category and we got the hearing aids and the glucose monitors. We also saw the new cast assets, which they're calling binders and shapewear. I am so, so excited they have added that. Like I love that they're trying to add more representation today in this update. I'm still a little disappointed in the texture of it. Like the item itself, I think is not their finest work. Oh my gosh, okay, two minutes ago they tweeted about it. A base game update is here with new content and including medical wearables, binders, shapewear, a light switch, and more, including bug fixes and console gameplay improvements. And we've got a screenshot of those new assets. I am just so impressed by this. This is so cool. I mean, this really is just amazing. I, I am so glad that they are doing this. Aside from that, we obviously got the light switch that we saw. It looks like there's also some new console updates as well, which unfortunately I'm not that familiar with because I've never played on console. It looks like you can change the UI, adjust the cursor, scaling, there's some build mode improvements, and as far as bug fixes go, it looks like there's a lot of them. I'm reading through this base game list and not a lot is standing out to me. These are mostly like scenario bug fixes. Things like the goals during the parenting predicament scenario will reflect a child's image. Okay, I, I haven't encountered that bug, but I'm glad that it's fixed. In city living, this is interesting, there was a column that used to light up, stopped lighting up, and now lights up again. I'm gonna be honest, I never use this column, so I don't really care that much, but but it lights up, so that's interesting. Um, good for it, <laughs> they fixed it. Overall though, most of these bug fixes aren't really a huge deal. I'm gonna link these patch notes down below if you wanna read them for yourself, but the real big deal of today's update is obviously all of the new cast stuff they added. I am just like so shocked and impressed by this update today. I, I did not expect this. I mean, you heard me when I started recording, I was like, oh, we just got an update, it's probably gonna be nothing. And then as I'm digging through casts, we find these top surgery scars, we find hearing aids, we find the glue glucose monitors. I realize this video is like completely all over the place. I'm so sorry. I'm just recording it as it's happening. So I, I know it's a lot, but I really, really want to take a step back and like emphasize again, just how big of a deal this is. I know so many of you are probably so excited. I'm getting kind of emotional. Just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, <laughs> I didn't mean for my voice to break, but I'm, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it and how much this is going to mean to so many of you. It's just really nice to see such like outward trans rep from this game and seeing them doing these things now is so such a good sign to me that it's going to keep happening and that we're going to be getting more things like this. It's just giving me such a positive outlook for the future of The Sims and like how much better it's just going to keep getting. I really, really appreciate their efforts to make a more inclusive game and to make it so that everyone can create themselves properly in The Sims. I mean, they have just made leaps in the right direction. In, in just the last year, they've been doing so much to make this game better. So just so many big hugs to all of you who are probably so excited about this right now. This, this is just really, really cool. Like I'm, I'm so, so pleased to see this update. I know that I probably don't need to say this because most of you already know, but The Sims is like so much more than just a game to so many people. This is an escape for a lot of people. It's a place where people can explore themselves in ways that they maybe can't in real life. And representation matters so much everywhere, but obviously, especially in a life simulation. Th this is just amazing. I mean, I am so grateful. And this video has really taken a turn from like how we started it, but definitely a turn for the 
the better. I am so excited. This might be kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm assuming that some people that work on The Sims team are watching this video. And I'm gonna talk directly to you for a second, but I would like for you to go and read the comments and see how much this means to people because I know they're gonna be talking about it right now. And there's gonna be a lot of young kids who are talking about how important this is to them. And I think that you should really read that and like see how big of a deal it is and like what a difference you're making. Sorry, I did not mean to get emotional. I just, I'm I'm really happy. So to those of you who worked on this, thank you for doing that. Seriously, this, this is amazing. And obviously to my viewers, if you could share some positivity in the comments, I would really appreciate that. I think now is a time that we can celebrate this together. On a slightly less positive and wholesome note, sorry to change the subject, but there's a couple things you might have questions on. And because this update is so big, like it added a whole new cast category, I'm assuming that a lot of mods are like really broken. I'm posting this video tomorrow in real life. So by then most of your mods are probably updated. But if you've got anything like UI cheats or the more cast columns mod, you probably have to delete those and then re-download them. This is good practice for like any Sims update, but especially big ones that break mods like this, the modders are gonna have to fix it and then repost it. So you'll need to go and get that new version. So if your game is like super broken right now, it's probably a mod thing. And if you don't use mods, then you're fine. <laughs> but just in case you do, I figured I should say it. I think on that note, we've covered everything in the patch for today. So I'm gonna end this video right here. Today is a very, very good day and I'm, I'm just really excited. So thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. And to think that I thought this update was gonna be nothing. I was fully expecting just like a couple random bug fixes. I did not anticipate this.